Remember last year, we had that YouTube video with my man Damar on his Nissan Titan truck. Well, now Damar got a ton of upgrades, and we got to talk about that, but he also came out here and brought one, two, including my car, three more vehicles that he done worked on, so we got to try to catch all that in this video, so about to be a nice little lengthy video, but y'all stay with us. It's, it's all car stuff. It's all interesting. So, first we're going to talk with Joe. Oh, uh, J&D Auto. He done all the motor work. He had all of my motor work. Any car motor work wise, he the man to go to to get your custom done. We're going to talk about his 68 Chevelle first. 68 Chevelle. It's got a 383 stroker. It's a lot more go than it is show. And, uh, it's a lot of fun. Painted by my man Jamar. He killed it. Matt Black with satin lost stripes the red and you killed it nice it's still in progress but it's uh it's a lot of fun what you had down with this car at? what what you had the horsepower that this car has that you know for sure for right now at the flywheel it's about 740 yeah, yeah. Okay. and we got more upgrades after that yeah. so it's 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 more monstrous it's crazy. on top of that he forgot to mention he was born in this car come on man yeah 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 so not born in it but it brought me home from the hospital 41 years ago when I was when I was born. Oh family. wow! Wow! Been my family a long time. Uh, how many how many years have you been driving this car? About 30. Oh wow! Years. That's crazy. And in great condition. It's That's seen a, it's seen a whole lot of different renditions. So back in 2015, it was in my dad's backyard, kind of rusting away, rotting away. So I, I pulled it out of, out of the weeds and started the restoration. Gotcha. It's been about seven years. All right. So we talked about the engine. Let's get on. The wheels. What wheels you got on this car? The Jag Spikes. Jag Spikes. Seventeen uh, in the front, fifteen in the back. Fifteen. A whole lot back. more meat at the back. Two ninety five, six fifteen. Two ninety five, six fifteen. Good lord. So, I gotta ask you. We hit the gas in this car. Yeah. What it do? Yeah. When it's when it's tuned like it is today. Yeah, pull the tires. Come on, man. <laughs> pull the tires. So, what kind of seats are those in here? Oh, they're just eBay special racing seats. <laughs> Nothing special. <laughs> they, they special enough. I like them. I like the way it looks. I see you got the the Tanica uh, yeah. seat belts. I always did like those. Yeah. So, still to come, we've got the the half cage coming in it. It's gonna have the clips for the racing harnesses to be all powder coated. And then the custom headliner. That's still to come. Gotcha. So what? They got the model on that. <laughs> nice. Painted by the man tomorrow. Nice. Oh, man. So explain that, because I always see that in race cars. And I, I never knew exactly the name of it. That's a two-step. Gotcha. That's a two-step. So basically, it's a, it's a secondary rev limiter. Come on. It helps with launches. That's crazy, man. We're going to get a, a full view around, and then we're going to move on to the silver bullet over there.
the phone line. What side? Uh, eight. Eight, eight, nine. Now we got the Corvette. Now I'll explain Corvette as best as you can. This, this is another custom piece, custom ride, and you got a lot of stuff done to it. C5 Corvette, it's the first year of the C5, 1997. As of this year, it's actually an antique car. It's 25 years old this year. Um, I got it about three years ago. I haven't done a lot to it, just cleaned it up, made it nice. Both engine mods, some stereo, but what really set the part was when I had Jamar paint it, did a little custom stripes on it. Did the stripes to match the wheels. Got the smoke gray color with the red outline. All dreamed up by, by Jamar. He did uh, kind of some custom graphics, hand laid it. I kind of gave him an idea and he ran with it and killed it. That's the original seats in here or? Typically, you get an old C5 and they've been beat on and beat out, ran through, the raced on the track a uh, hundred times. <laughs> this car's really never seen any any hard days nice. until I got it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> there you go. You could be one to put it on there. For his to cool his engine off while he while he actually going down the street. Oh, so that's not that's not where the actual that used to be. Yeah. Where the license plate go, but yeah, now it's yeah. actually his functional air ram for his to cool the car while he going up the street. Nice. We gotta put that on my man. I just work on them building, man. You talking? <laughs> the paint man, the guy who did the job, do a better job than me explaining on exactly what he did to paint the front end of my car. My car is wrapped on the back end. All on the front is all custom paint. Honestly, he just gave me an idea on what he was looking for, and I tried my best to match it. I wanted to keep with the concept that he already had originally with his car to kind of go with the concept with the wrap that he had on the back. So I tried my best to match his hood. Everything on here is base colors. We just finished it off with flip flop pearls. Um, like all this is actually a basic red. But once you put the flip pearl on top of it, that gives you the design and the flake and the flop that you wanted to do with however you want it to give it that show look. So his flop on his car is actually blue, green, and red. See, see that, that's something I never explained to them. <laughs> so that's why when you get these colors, that's why you can mainly see the blue. The main color in his is blue. So that's why in any throughout the whole thing you can see the blue and on here you can kind of see the green right there next to the blue. So that's his main two colors in his. Yeah. And that over the red is what gave you this color. Yeah, it's 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 crazy. And now since the car been painted for over a year over now. Over a year now. Now that that pearl that flip is coming out even more. It's it's crazy. I I get in the sunlight. I get an insight. It don't matter. It's it's. People notice it ASAP now. It, it wasn't like it was hard to notice before, but now it's like, it popped. I mean, it looks like it's it. Yeah, you, you people see it from a mile away, and we see them just running to the car. So, appreciate all the work you've done that. We still got more to do. I love it, I love it. And now, all these mini upgrades. So, if you haven't seen the video from last year, go back on my videos, go back down the list, and you're gonna see Jamar standing there with his trophy, and we got a video on what he did last year. You can compare that to what you did this year, nine day difference. So let's go check it out. I felt I needed to upgrade it from last year. I done good last year and I like what I done last year, but this year I went completely over. So basically in the front, all my front casing, everything is wrapped, everything is flipping colors. Everything is purple and green pearls. I added the candy green engine cover with the Martian and aliens going through it. 
Uh, I got my swirls with my limes and purples going through my swirls with the the uh, the glitter pearl pinstriping. Also, I'm gonna finish it off with I got this touch from Ruben, but actually wrapping my actual uh, isolation hood cover to match the rest of the truck. Give that show feel to it. These fog lights actually come off a Jeep Wrangler. And I custom made them to fit inside my truck. Yeah, that's custom right there. You have to look at my lights closer because I actually put the pearl that's on my truck. It's my headlights is done in it also. So if you look at it, you can see oh, the pearls see. and purple flip on I ain't my... noticed that. I see it now. That's crazy. Come to my hood. Finished off with my windshield wipers. I've done them also to flip. If you look at uh, the whole, my whole hood, is airbrush design now. And you did all the airbrushing yourself. All airbrushing myself. You can see the aliens ghost in the green. That's crazy. That's talent right there. I'll tell you that. I ain't even noticed that till now. That's crazy. I still got to get that paint job. Everything on my truck was done by me. The wheel lights. The same, my wheels are painted the same as everything else on my truck. Then we got the women you go with the inside. My hairline is weighed also. Uh, all my interior is done. You can see my logo and my hair rest. And what you went with your interior? That's uh casket? Uh-uh, that's actually leather. Come on, man. Two-tone leather, gray and purple. Okay. I actually got my brake pedal and my gas pedal is Neo Chrome. Man, they got crazy work going on in this truck. It's so much, so much details. So you can see the back some more. Lift my back seat up. All the side of it is my box is airbrushed and it's all fiberglass. That's crazy. That thing came out so nice. It, it, it matches so perfectly with the rest of the build. We're doing that white top to it and then putting the graphics on the side. It matched. Mm -hmm. It matched perfectly. Now people uh, know from last year, this was actually on that last year. All this all this vinyl's on that last year. All, right, all my trim is, is wrapped in, it's called alien print. It's not uh, carbon fiber, none of that. It's a whole different texture and pattern than the normal carbon fiber pattern. But they don't know, well, or what they didn't see last year was the special bed. touch I added to my bed. So I figure everything is all, my concept has always been purple, green, and lime. So I decided to add more orange to it because I didn't have a lot of orange in my truck at first. So I decided what better way than to add it to my bed. And then I had to put my logo in the middle of my bed also. And that, all of it is done in Rhino. That's crazy. That logo topped it off. I think if you wouldn't have did the logo, it would have looked decent, but with that logo, it just took it over the top. So yeah. So now I finished it off with that. And then as you come to the back of the truck, Go around the Area 51 display. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got the uh, aliens out here too. They come to the car shows too. So I finished. If you come and stand right here, you can actually look through the truck, and my stripe goes from the front to the one in the hood. That's detailed. So it lines up all the way to going to the sure front of my truck. That's detailed. That's detailed on top of detail. <laughs> That's great. Same concept, my aliens is loose all the way through my design. Yeah, I showed my wife, I said, what, what luck he has it that you could buy this license plate frame <laughs> like this and it go perfect with the truck. <laughs> it go perfect with everything else. And uh, what everybody really don't know or I try to explain to people, everything in my strike is dealing with aliens. You got the crop circles that's inside there. You got my alien mask behind there is a spaceship. Oh, that's a spaceship. And that's alien print right there also. And that's also more crop circles. 
Alright, then we then we back it down to to from super custom, from extreme custom to regular custom. All your emblems are shaved off. Yeah, I wanted to make sure you didn't know what type of truck this was when you seen it coming. So the only I took emblems off of any there's no emblems, Nissan emblems on this truck anymore. Yeah. You I, would I have to really road. walk up and guess and figure out what kind of truck I have. Yeah. When you see my truck coming. I went with that. I went with that same row. And I finished my truck off with going extra custom with I actually cut these holes in my back bumper for my exhaust engine. They don't come with factory like that. So you ain't gonna never find no Nissan in the world with that on the back of the truck. This a new dish I want to do. I want to uh, get more into the mind of the builders. Cause uh, people see the cars, they see the work, and then cool, you know, you know somebody did something. But where it come from? So what made you get into this car show, trying to make, trying to try build stuff? Uh, honestly, I've always been into cars. I always wanted to paint, I always... I started off airbrushing, honestly. And from actually doing airbrushing, I started working with my uncle and then I got into actually painting cars versus starting off doing designs and stripes. Oh. So from that point, I always would help him get cars ready for car show or help everybody else get one. So once I actually got to the level to get my own business, I was like, it's time for me to put something for me. Right, right. And right. the main concept with putting this together was you don't really see that. Yeah. You see Chevys, you see Ford, you see Titan, I'm a Tundras, but you never really see a piece on Titan. Right. So that was my concept. When I got this, was like, I want to step out and do something that nobody ever really sees. All right. So I'm going to ask you a hard question, a pressing question. So if you can remember, how long did it start? From start to finish to get to this point, how many years we To get it to this point? Yeah. Probably two. It took me two years. Two years, people. Two years. It took no three months. It took them two years to get to this point. It took me two years because it, it took steps. You know, it took me a while to get to the point to get the interior done and get the paint done and then this is where I wanted it. And so it took me four two years to get it to this point to where it's at now. All right. Max, one more pressing question. Mm -hmm. Name your most expensive mod. One, the one mod that's the most expensive. It could be real, it could be well, but name the most expensive mod you're on the truck. Ah, probably. The paint. Total up all yeah, the paint. I'm about to say my paint. Because you gotta think about it, all the paint probably, you wasted. <laughs> I, probably, I probably got at least, honestly, at least 10 G's in the paint. That's you crazy. Gotta, you gotta think about the pearl that I got on here. It cost me $300 just for 20, 20, 25 ounces. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You got to think about it. We're, we're doing your your vehicle. You done tried it, then came back and tried it again. So I had to, then I had to get more than that 25, of course, 25 ounces. Yeah, that ain't going to get you off of this. So I had to buy more than once yeah. to be able to do my wheels, the rims, the... Every inch of this car has that pearl in it. So I had to buy them 25 ounces more than once. Man, all right, we're gonna wrap it up. We're gonna let Jamar shout out on his Instagram so y'all can get them or telephone them, whatever you wanna do, do your thing, and y'all catch us on the next video, man. I'll just shout you out on Instagram, page underscore Martian. Look me up whenever you're ready. If you need a phone number, all that's on my page. Hit me up. Bring around the rosy, pockets full like OD. I can move just how I move, cause don't nobody know me. Low key, still do more numbers than I just met you. What's your name, man? James Ellis. James? <laughs> it, it's crazy. Awesome. The the paint itself, which is my thing, I'm an airbrush artist. Uh, purple uh, flake, then art. Uh, 300 hours of artwork were done um, on top of you know the flake work, and then it's got the their um, electric purple candy and the 